everyone, Rebecca's Rome here, and I have, of course, Raiden Moonlight, Mel, and guess what today we're doing? You've been all asking for it, so, well, here's the one box we're going to do today. Snack crate, guys. Snack crate. You know where it's from? Do you? Poland, guys. Yay! Poland! Can I read? She reads. <laughs> I do. Oh my god. Come I on, Frey. You gotta move out of the way. <laughs> do you know I can read? <laughs> well. Okay, so. Let's see some interesting facts. The name Poland originates. No, no. Freya! <laughs> always, there's always a cat. Always. Always a cat has to ruin our videos. Jeez. Oh my god. Anyways, <clears throat> so. The name Poland originates from the tribe Polani, which means people live in open fields. I could have been a Polani, or how we say it, in the military, because I lived in open fields. <laughs> well, I guess it doesn't count. Poles eat pizza with ketchup. I mean, I like ketchup. I'm not sure. I like ranch. I mean, it might be good. I would try it. I would. So... Poland is one of the few countries in the world where courteous hand kissing is still a common practice. All oh, just like this. <laughs> okay, there. <laughs> Cooties now. Poland has more than 17 Nobel Prize laureates. Of these four were for pre yeah, peace prizes and five in literature. <laughs> I was going to say I won the Nobel Prize for speaking. That's weird. <laughs> it's driving me. <laughs> The most, the world's strongest man winners are the most world strongest man winners are from Poland. Do not mess mess with Polish men. Okay, <laughs> let's eat now. That's a drink in your hand, and you've got the food. <laughs> the first thing we're gonna try is whatever it says. <laughs> what does it say? It says Tapsy. Oh, it says tap. Or I think it says Tapsy. It might be Lapsy. I don't know. Lapsy or Tapsy? I don't. That's, it looks like an L. Lapsy, I guess. I'm not Polish. I don't think I have any Polish anywhere in my family. So these savory potato snacks are made with a surprisingly delicious combination of cheese and onion flavor. It sounds kind of like a cheesy onion. Puppy. They taste stale to you. <laughs> it might guess, be well, sitting too long. Oh, uh, they're stale. It's supposed to taste like that. <laughs> they do have good flavor, but I they think they must have had a hole in it or something. But or it should have been fine. Let's had a hole in it, and the air got out. Oh, those are supposed to be like rice cakes. It tastes kind of like rice cakes with cheese and onion. I'm good. I'm good. This looks sour cream and onion. Well, these are pretzels. Oh, those are. Oh, the air is still in that one. <laughs> well, we do have another box. We kind of got this a while ago, so we haven't had a chance to uh, actually. It's not expired, so. Well, yeah, but I mean, what is the if there's pretzels? no air in it, there, if there's air in it, then it's I don't know. Palus Z, uh, Palus Z, <laughs> Bacon, crunchy pretzel sticks infused uh, bacon pretzels. <laughs> okay, I'll eat her. I like bacon. I want this drink now. Okay. We got a drink this time, guys. The drink is Orangeado Orange. I cannot read this. There you go. I'm sorry if you're Polish and I'm butchering these words. I uh, <laughs> it's uh. 
the slogan which translates to you praise someone you do not know your own. It is derived from the work of Polish writer Stanislaw Jakob. Oh my god, something, I like something. it. <laughs> that is good. I like it. Do you have any more chippers? Yeah, it's all sweet stuff. It's all sweet stuff now. I call them chippers. I do like okay. pretzels, so. <laughs> the next treat. Come on. Is this because it keeps seeing our faces now? I'm gonna be blurry and now I'm not. This is zebra Meglico a cacao. Look, I'm a walrus, and it says a uh, parenthesis. I'm guessing it's yummy cake. Oh, oh walrus. My. <laughs> god, do I know her? No, Look, Mom, no hands. she's my wife, but I don't <laughs> care. She's crazy, guys. Help me. Are you going to tell people what this is, or am I just going to eat no, it? No, we're just going to eat it. Okay, I don't know which one it is. It's Princess Ziba. Princess Zebra. Layers of rich chocolate wafer sandwich together with some blah, 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 blah. sweet milk cream. It's a perfect combination of milk and chocolate in every bite. So it's like an Oreo, maybe like an Oreo... Uh, It tastes like Oreo wafers. You don't like it? I'm not sure if that's a... Gross. That's okay. And you know what this tastes like? It tastes weird after eating this bacon. Pretzels. It tastes like, um... Like a Red Bull without energy. Freya said it tastes like. Brrr. <laughs> See? Like it's, she said it tastes like. Brrr. <laughs> we have a. Okay, next. <coughs> like we got some more wafers here. Prince Polo. Yeah, it's a cat. Prince Polo classic. Come, Freya, no. Yeah. This Polish fav favorite features layers of crunchy wafers sandwiched together. Why is everything wafers? <laughs> Apparently they like wafers. I'm not that crazy about wafers. Oh my gosh. It's She's not crazy about chocolate either. I like chocolate, but I like dark chocolate. We seem to have a cat and she's throwing chocolate at me. Come on. Jack. <laughs> I didn't mean to throw it at you. Jim mm. is like... The chocolate's good. I think this is dark chocolate. It is. Oh, good. I like the dark chocolate. I like it's pretty good. <laughs> I like some so far. French polo, you're tasty. Wait, that sounded wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. Mel's gonna like this one. It worked off dark chocolate? No, it's because it has hazelnut in it. Ooh. Which one is that? Ziki. This right here. Ziki? <laughs> Ziki? <laughs> I don't know. So I'll say. A crunchy cookie bar coated with caramel crispy rice and dipped in chocolate. It included either classic or coconut flavor. I hope I got the coconut one. It's caramel. Oh, darn. I was hoping we get the coconut. No, we get the cla the other one. I like coconut more. Well, you like caramel too, don't you? Mm. Come on. It just depends. Camera. Look not bad. It tastes kind of like a Twix with um, rice in it. The crack like a crackle and Twix put together. Mm. I'm throwing chocolate over. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. I don't really taste the hazelnut. I don't either. <laughs> uh, what is this? Probably like some crap ton of chocolate again. 
And there's not as much chocolate in here. I'm just trying to get rid of all the chocolate bars. Looks like dark chocolate. What is that? It's just freaking thick of chocolate. Oh, it's um. <laughs> what is it? Uh, that thing right down here. Jadina? 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 Oh no! It's just solid so chocolate, somewhere. guys. Made by the famous Polish chocolatier Wendel since 1851. This decadent dark chocolate bar is perfect for sharing. Oh. Her favorite. Yum. Oh, babe. Oh. You got the coconut kind, too. Cool. Let's try the coconut one of this. This dark chocolate is mine. <laughs> it's all hers. I don't like dark chocolate. And the certain things I like. I oh, took a finger, too. <laughs> this mm -hmm. is mine. That's fair. Oh my That's god. That's good. It tastes like an almond joy. Or, yeah. It tastes like an almond joy. Mm. Coconut and chocolate are just perfect together. Every end time chocolate everywhere. <laughs> okay, we're going with this. A waffle? It looks like a rice cake with chocolate. <laughs> it is. Oh. Well, Belgian milk chocolate. Crispy rice waffles coated in a layer of decadent Belgian milk chocolate. Ooh, Belgian chocolate is yummy. I guess let's try one because <laughs> I'm giving you one. I don't want the whole thing. Oh well. Ooh. Oh my god. Yeah, you can have it. I hate rice cakes. <laughs> I love rice cakes. Tastes like, I don't know. <laughs> the Belgian chocolate's good, but the rice cake sucks. <laughs> I hate rice cakes. Where's my dark chocolate? <laughs> my dad. In the back. So, we found out what Mild doesn't like. And it's rice cakes. I never liked rice cakes. I used to eat them plain all the time. Ooh. If I knew that, um, when I first met you, I probably would just kidding. <laughs> Somebody's going to be sleeping on the couch tonight. I'm just kidding. I'm back. <laughs> I'm better just wait. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. You do that. Ah! I'm gonna put that on top of the dog cage. Okay. Next is no more chocolate. Let's just dive into this. I was just reading that. Aha uh -huh, bar. We'll just eat one. Aha uh -huh, says um says Unky. Aha. Uh -huh. Find your own aha. Uh -huh. No, it's with this deliciously sweet snack. Oh. Or bay with sesame seeds. There's two up here. Interesting. Shouldn't end up at the table because it's getting stuff everywhere. Yeah, we're doing it in our bedroom because we're that lazy today. So <laughs> mm. You know those peanut brittle bars? That's what it tastes like. This is really good. Yeah. It's like peanut brittle. So it's like sesame seeds, that's it? It's a sweet snack bar made with sesame seeds. Really interesting. Okay, crisis averted. <laughs> no one asked you, Freya. <laughs> okay. Wait. Let me give you the yellow one. Well, we have different ones here. Whatever, just eat them. <laughs> what is this? Fresh and fruity. Fresh and fruity. 
<laughs> this one got melty. Well, well, fresh and fruity. These chewy squished. fruit flavored gummies are filled with their sweet fruit jelly for a burst of fruity goodness in every bite. <laughs> and apparently she, uh, <laughs> I can't open it. <laughs> I got it. I think it's because mine got squished. There's like orange slices. That's good. It's like sugar overload. Oh my god. <laughs> ah! Well, we got two things left. You want to save this one for last? Or this one That's for last? This cat won't leave me alone. Stop it! Do you want to go right to the sweet candy? Sure. Oh my god. And then we'll save the cake for last. Diabetic coma. <laughs> That's why we're gonna go do this one. This is Zolo's. And we can win a PlayStation card or something. Oh. Or we don't live in that country, so. I can't speak the language on here, so I don't know what it says. <laughs> it says you lost. <laughs> um. This intensely sour fruit flavored ribbon, gummy ribbons, are as colorful as they are full of flavor. Sure to make your lips pucker. Excuse my weird. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> I had a lot of chocolate asking. And candy. Just talk in your normal voice. Okay. Normal <laughs> voice before I beat you. What is normal? <laughs> I don't know what normal is. Take me to the window. I wish to say goodbye. Ow. <laughs> Here, take you on your hands. No, I don't want your germs. Ow. Take. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. That's my favorite, along with the dark chocolate. You keep everything else. <laughs> I don't want everything else. <laughs> oh, <my mom. laughs> there you go. It's too sour. <laughs> the last thing, but not least. Well, it is the last thing. I thought it was good. It's sour. There's like those, um, airhead ribbon things. It's a heart that's squishy. It's probably like stale. It's like. <laughs> this cat will leave me alone. I can't pronounce it. You're going to heart this classic Polish gingerbread treat. Made from a recipe over 700 years old. I think it was made 700 years ago. <laughs> It's like, Here. it's like that hard tack getting this, this day on the Civil War. <laughs> it might be from the Civil War, you never know. <laughs> Get out of that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it was wonderfully awful. I'm sorry, whoever had these and you're growing up as a child, I don't like it. Well, I like gingerbread, just not that gingerbread. I don't know what it. Well, what do mm. you give this box a thumbs down? I only like a couple things out of here. I only like two things: the dark chocolate and the sour ribbons. And oh, this thing. I did like these though. And this. There you go. Here's all your presents. Well, guys, we have another box to do. <laughs> I don't know where we're going to do that one yet. <laughs> but. Mm. I have some videos probably going to be out before this one anyway. Burksville Cemetery is probably be out already by the time this comes up. I had chocolate in my hand. 
I have two people coming down in August. And we're going to do some cemetery videos. And you need to stop. <laughs> <coughs> we're going to have... I'm itching! You mind! I'm itching, do you mind? Oh, yes, leave that part in. <laughs> but I swore. Anyway. I swear you're gorgeous. Anyway. I swear. I can only remember what I'm saying because that girl over there is being bad. <laughs> what am I gonna do with her, guys? She's she's a bodyguard. I can't lose her. Anyway, like I said, two people are coming down. Two people are coming down. That's three. And cut that part out. Um, two people are coming down here in August. And we're going to the cemetery. <laughs> oh my god, you might! Cemetery. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Help. Please. Please. Baby, stop. I love you. <laughs> I love you too, but stop. Stop. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know. Stop. <laughs> she was talking about cemetery, so anyway. she went all ghost on us. <laughs> stop. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. I really do. Thank you for watching my videos. Keep watching them. Share, like, help me get my hours, guys. I'm getting there. I'm at 1,000 and some 600 and something. I forget what I was saying earlier, but it's just, yeah. Till next time. I don't know what this is all about, but hey, I've had a lot of sugar. So, bye, guys. I love you.